what is really exciting for me today is that we are going to be joined by Ava Black, who is a longtime open source contributor. Ava has worked within the OpenStack community and also within a number of other communities and is now at, uh, at Microsoft, who is uh, the newest Open Infra Foundation Platinum member. Um, so Ava's going to talk about the four opens and how, as, uh, as an open source community, um, they set us up to be successful. So next up, Ava Black. Thanks so much, Mark and Jonathan. It's great to be here. Last month, the Linux Foundation celebrated the 30th anniversary of Linux. The open source definition was written down 23 years ago, the same year the Apache web server was created. And for many folks working on open source at the beginning, now I wasn't there, but I've had the chance to work with so many who were, the goal of open source was, and still is, to create more value than we capture. As the saying goes, a rising tide lifts all boats. And the open source definition is a set of 10 rules which outline the properties that any software license must have to be considered open source. And these 10 properties are shared by many software licenses you probably know, including GPL and Apache and MIT. And this has created predictability for companies that want to collaborate to co-create software they can each use in commercial products. And today, open source is everywhere. It's in our cars and our washing machines, our phones and our power plants. Nearly every human life is affected by what we have built together. And nearly every company on earth uses open source software. There's even open source running on Mars. Can you believe that? It's incredible. The open source has also been crucial to our ability as a species to respond to global crises like climate change and COVID-19. That we've built all that together, that's awesome. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the incredible success of open source. When I look back, and I might be a little biased here because I worked with them for a while, but I feel like MySQL was the first company that built a successful product around a successful open source product and really grabbed the attention of Silicon Valley. You see in 2008, MySQL sold for a billion dollars to Sun Microsystems about 10 years after the open source definition was coined. And the very next year, OpenStack was founded by some people who had their very first leadership roles in open source communities in the early knots, like MySQL and Ubuntu. So those early values, they were passed on to a new generation of open source developers who founded this community. And many folks, maybe many of you, had their first commit in OpenStack and are now leaders in other communities. And now about 10 years later, we are experiencing another tectonic change. Open source has won. We are received with open arms across the industry most of the time. Open source is no longer seen as anti-establishment. VCs want to fund our projects, big companies use them and want to participate. And all of these new groups that are joining our merry bands, upstream developers, they have their own expectations. Many have not yet been steeped in our culture and our values. So this next transition is going to be about making sure that our projects are more than mere code, not just bytes in search of users. Our projects must be dynamic communities where we invest in producing software securely and through healthy collaboration. Communities that embody the four opens do this and create new generations of leaders. They pass on cultural values and enable a community to endure changes in leadership, changes in sponsorship, and changes in political circumstance. Today, we are seeing a rise in techno-nationalism and tech isolationism like the world has not seen since the last great war. And this poses an increasing challenge to the open collaboration at a time when the free and fair flow of ideas, the skills to build tools in our digital age, this is central to our ability to respond to crises as one planet. So it is crucial we continue to build spaces where all people are welcome, regardless of race or nation, gender or sexuality, that we continue to overcome our fear of each other. And the four opens articulate a model that goes beyond the open source definition to encompass three additional important aspects of building shared value through collaboration. Open design, open development, and open community. And the OpenStack community's success over the past 11 years is such a good example of this. 
I've been honored to participate in several different roles for most of that time, and I've seen firsthand how this collaboration empowers researchers, businesses, and nations. You, each of you, no matter how small or how large your contribution has helped to change the world. One might even say the four opens are an application of the principles of representational democracy and radical inclusion to the process of co-creating software. They are a proof point of how we as one planet and one humanity can work together to empower everyone. And the four opens, I think, are at the heart of the OpenStack community. So as new contributors join this community and members move on to other communities, please take a little time to pass on these values to the next generation of open source developers. Thank you all for participating in this grand experiment. Back to you, Mark and Jonathan.